Hello, welcome back to my channel. I'm totally on a roll with these videos, getting them to you right now. So this is the look I'm showing you how to create today. It's a gold, reflexy, sparkly realness with beautiful glowy skin. All about glowy skin and then really glossy lips because why not? You know, I might as well do sparkle eye and a gloss lip. Whatever, let's do it, honey. Let me know what you want to see in the next video. It'd be great to see kind of like what content you want to see. I'm all about kind of like just doing, you know, doing this and quite enjoy it. But yeah, you let me know what you want to see. If there's any palettes you want me to see, let me know. If you want me to review anything, just put it in the comments down below. And while you're there, why don't you just hit that subscribe button and the like button. But yes, I cannot wait to see you in the next video. But yes, let's get into the tutorial. Today we are creating this gorgeous fancy golden bronze you know last day of summer kind of vibe so we're using the stacy the be perfect stacy marie carnival palette <laughs> i hope it's a carnival palette i think it is it is the carnival palette we can confirm that so we're going to start off with eyes because it's quite bold and then um yes so that's what we're going to do so i'm going to zoom you on in so I've zoomed you on in so we're going to start off by using the born this way concealer as our base so if you're wondering what i'm looking at it's the mirror by there so brows are already done i'm not carving my brows because i did it and i was like oh, i'm feeling it without the carbon and i'm just going to blend that out with a beauty blender this is just a dry beauty blender I'm just gonna put a little bit more. So just excuse my bare face. I look really rough, really rough. So I'm gonna start off by taking a this shade here. So this is the shade Keen. <laughs> That's me, Keen. Keen with this video. I got anything I teeth today, have I? I feel like I had something in my teeth yesterday, I'm not entirely sure. To be honest, I've edited it and I didn't see anything, so I think I'm okay. Um, so I'm just going to take that on a Morphe, Morphe R39, um, and that's just going to go into my crease. So this is going to be our transition colour, and then we're going to pop in um, an orange shade. So this is kind of just like the shade to blend everything out. So this is really, like, it is really important. Not that you can see any of it anymore, but it's an important shade, nevertheless. Um, yeah, so that is your transition put in. Loving that. We're then gonna take the shade Lit, which is like a very neon orange. And I'm just using, this is, no idea what this brush is anymore. It's just like a, a synthetic dual fiber brush. And that is gonna go in the crease. Just gonna go back in with the blending brush that we use the yellow. And that's just gonna help to blend the orange and the yellow together so that they become united and all that good stuff. Okay, so once you're happy with the blend, I am 1000%. I'm gonna take a small Diddy brush that's really, really thin, like so. This is a Zoeva uh, Luxe Defined Crease 224, and I'm gonna take the, the dark brown shade in this palette. I'm gonna take Rowdy into my crease. Now this brush is literally so perfect for like tucking into your crease um, and it's not super super dense so it like distributes the colour really really like softly. Like If you don't want anything to pack on colour this is like the perfect brush, I love this brush. It just like, oh, just softly touches the crease. Oh, I really like this brush. So we're gonna just slightly wing it out a little bit. And I'm just doing winter wipe motions backwards and forth. So until we get this kind of like 
depth in the crease so not too much color nothing insane so we are now going to do the gold glitter you're going to place down the concealer this is just like a super easy duper duper non neat cut crease okay so if you're not really a cut crease kind of gal find it a little bit hard like myself this is for you this is i've got you honey i got you gonna take a just a flat concealer brush this is a morphe e10 and i'm just gonna rip like we are not creating grease hunt we are not doing that here i am um, i will leave the people who are insanely good at doing the crease cut creases to it i just can't i don't know maybe it's my eyes maybe it's my eyes i don't know or i'm just horrendous at doing eyeshadow i don't know one or the other but i just can't do it can't do it So that's going to go in that space that we created. Like so. Really nice. I love that. So what we're going to do to add more intensity is I'm going to take the Dose of Colour Loose Pigment. And this is what it looks like. And this is in the shade Sunset. So it's really, really pretty. It comes with a cream on top and then this one. So I'm going to take this and my fix, Fixing Mist. dip into it a little bit more and then that just creates that really pretty go oh yes that's that's that is what I wanted. Okay, so what we're gonna do now, we're gonna go on to eyeliner. So we are gonna do a wing liner. Totally you can miss the wing liner. If you don't wanna do it, that's absolutely fine. You do you boo. But yeah, so I'm gonna do that now. Um, I'll probably just speed through this cause it's kinda hard to do it on camera, but we'll give it a go. Okay, so once you've done the liner, so this was the wing liner was an afterthought so i'm going to carry on doing the steps i did on this side so i'm going to go in with rowdy again the dark brown on there so on the outer corner to smudge it out just to create that like depth there okay so we've created the dimension there you could obviously 1000 percent percent leave it like that but i'm going to draw the liner now um so i'll do that really really quickly and then yeah two seconds let me just do that okay so if you are not suffering with your face sagging <laughs> i'm gonna set mine with some black eyeshadow so it's just a black eyeshadow shadow it's just a black eyeshadow from um, makeup geek in corrupt i believe so i'm gonna just set that now doing that so yeah so liner is done we're now just going to put a little bit of shimmer on the brow bone and a bit in the inner corner so i'm going to use the highlighter in the actual palette using the shade sinner from that palette just to highlight my brow bone and my inner corner I think I'm going to add a little bit more gold in that inner corner as well, just because I feel like I haven't got a lot there. Yeah. Yep, that's exactly how I want. So I'm going to put mascara on now and then I'm going to put the, sh the lashes in, um, not Dubai, not Paris, Milan. So I'm going to put the Sosu lashes from Primark in Star Milan on now um, and then 
what I'll do is I'll come back and we will go through what highlighter and blush to put on and finish with lips. See you in the next slide. So, welcome back. I look a bit different. I have the rest of my face on. So, I use majority like drugstore products in this this base that I've created. Um, so I used a full foundation, I used the Maybelline Super Stay 24 hour foundation in warm sand. And then for, one second my eyelids just look well funky. Don't you just hate when that happens? Um, for contour, cream contour, I used the um, LA Girl Pro Conceal in Beautiful Bronze as my cream contour because I love cream contouring. Concealer wise, I used, um, it's not drugstore, but it's quite affordable, is the Jouer Concealer in um, Creme Caf. And this is the Soft Matte Concealer. I really like this. It was really nice. Really liked it. Um, and then for powder, I used the RCMA powder. No colour powder, that weren't literally. I've got another one, don't worry. Literally have nothing left. Love this stuff. Um, and then for blusher, I'm thinking the I already used this in my last tutorial, but I really like it. That's why is the Milani blusher in Luminoso on my cheeks, just to kind of tie in with that kind of like peachy orange vibe that we have going. So that is looking lovely. And then for highlighter, again, I think it's reasonably affordable. It's not drugstore, but the um, Laura Geller highlighter. I guess it's not really drugstore at all, Rebecca. It's not drugstore whatsoever. Yeah, we're gonna use that one anyway, but I'm just gonna use another drugstore product, which is the Revolution Hyaluronic Fix Spray. I have a lot of powder on my face. Okay, lovely. And then I'm just going to use my Morphe Trusty M501 highlighter brush. And this is in Gilded Honey, in case I didn't say. Love oh, highlighters in shade. Really, really like that. Okay, so for underneath the eyes, we're going to use the darker brown shade that we used in the crease. Um, yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's what we're going to do. I'm going to then smoke it out using that yellow shade. Okay, then mascara on your bottom lashes. And then for lips, I'm gonna use the Topshop lip, lip liner, and this is an old one. So this is in, I think it's in ceramic. I think that's what it is, but it's tiny, but I'm definitely sure they've repackaged it. finished look for lips I went with the Rimmel um, lasting finish lipstick by Kate Moss in the shade 32 and then I went for the butter gloss by NYX in creme brulee and as I said previously the lip line I used was a Topshop old one but yes this is the final glam I love it I absolutely love it you could definitely go for like more of like a nude if you want but I kind of like like this like peachy vibe with it. Uh, maybe it doesn't go, maybe it does. I don't care. But yeah, I love it.